In this video, you will learn how we can make API request with the module request in Python. The request module allows you to send HTTP request using Python and the HTTP request returns a response object with all the response data such as content, encoding, status, etc. And these are some of the methods that you will find in the module. We have methods such as delete, get, head, patch, post, put and request and their description is also given. Let's go to PyCharm. Here I will first create a Python file. I'll click on this new and then Python file and I'll give this file name as let's say request sample. Now we will go to a website where we will make a request and get the data here. Let's open our Google and here I will type the website name and the website name is request requres dot in. When you will come on this page, you will see here it is saying test your front end against a real API, a hosted REST API ready to respond to your AGX request. And if you come down, you will see here, there are several methods here. So we have this get, post, put, patch, delete. These are the methods here. And so on this website, you can uh, see we will have a different methods like, you know, get, post, etc. And now let's check on the get method for this single user. Here it is saying get for the single user. And if I click here, so here you will see we are getting some data here in the JSON object. And we have such as the ID, email, first name, last name, etc. Now you will see here we are given these two headers request and response. To make a request to fetch this information, we will have to put this at the end of the URL. And if the request made is successful, then we will get a code 200. Here you will see the response 200. So if we make a successful request on this, API, we will get this response 200. Now let's go to our PyCharm and let's import the module and prepare this request and response. So first I will import request and then I will make one variable base underscore URL and in this variable, I will go to this website and I will copy this link and now I'll go here and paste it here. So in double quotes, I will paste this here. Now to get this data, which is in JSON object, you will see here, which is in JSON structure. We will have to copy this URL, which is slash API slash users slash two. So I will type here slash API slash user dot two. And this is the URL to make this request on this JSON data. Now let me run this code and also let me print this base URL. And this is going to be the most easier explanation of how you can use the request module. Now, if I print this base URL, you will see we are getting this URL here HTTPS and this URL. Next, we will define payload. A payload in API is the actual data pack that is sent with the get method in HTTP. When you are making an API request, the payload can be sent or received in various formats, including JSON. Usually the payload is denoted by the curly braces. Now let's suppose that let's say from this data, we want to get the first name so in our payload, we will request to get the information about the first name. Now let's define this payload and get the first name. I will write payload. This is going to be our variable. And then in this curly braces, I will write what we want. We want to fetch this first name. So I'll just copy this from here, this first name here and paste it here. And the first name is Janet. Here you will see. Now we can run this code and let me also print this payload here. 
print payload let us run this code so here you will see in this payload we are getting this first name and the first name is Janet now let's make a request using the method get and save the response in a variable request now we are going to make a request to this API and we will save that data in a variable and let's say I will make this new variable here request then I will call this method from this request module I will call the method get because we want to get the information and our first parameter will be the URL where we want to make the request so this at this URL we want to make a request so we will pass this variable base URL because it has this URL here and next is what information we want to get we want to get this first name and this first name is saved in this variable payload so the second parameter will be params is equal to we want to get this information so we will pass this payload here because we want to get the first name and that first name is saved in this variable payload now let me print this request now let's execute our code and you will see here we got the response 200 and if I go to the website here you will see in the response it is written 200 that means our request was successful and we have fetched this entire data and now we can print all this data one by one now let's get the actual data from this website and save in this variable data so I'll make one variable data here and then I will call this request this request that we have defined here and from this I will call the method JSON we, because we want to get the data in the JSON format and now let me print this variable data here so here in this variable request we have made this request to this URL and we wanted to get this information and we have saved it here but to get the actual data we need to call this JSON method on this request variable and save it in a new object or a new variable which is data and now we are going to print it and we will see what information we are getting let us run this code now here in the output you can see we got everything here so we got that json that we found on the website you will see here so the first one is data the first key is data then we have this id email first name last name and so on so here you also you will see we have this id is equal to two email is this janet.waver at the rate request.in first name is janet less then we have this last name weaver then we have this avatar and here is the website for that then we have this support and we also have the url then we have this text here and so on so we got all the information you will see here the last key here is this text here and here also it is text so we successfully made request to the api and we have got all the data here now here in the data you can see we get we, we got all the information now whatever information we want we can fetch from the object data and save in a new variable now let's print first name so we want to print the first name from this data that is this uh, from this json we got here in the output so let's print the first name I will write print and let me write first name then we want to print the first name from where from this object data so we will write here data and now this first name is inside this uh, another you can say this dictionary so I will write data one more time and then what we want to fetch we want to fetch the first name so I will just copy it from here and paste it here and this should be in quotes now if I run the code you will see we will get the first name so here we got the first name here that is first name is Janet now let's say instead of first name we want to print this email ID 
so we have to do the same i will copy this code from here and paste it here now instead of first name i will write here email and here instead of first name i will write this key here which is email and if i write this here email now let's run our code and here in the output you can see we also got the email id from here so we can print anything that we want and we can also save this result in a new variable instead of printing it let's say i want to save this email id in a new variable so i will write email underscore id and then nothing i just have to copy this line of code from here and paste it here now let me print the variable email id and let me just print here something to make sure that we are printing this email id now let us execute our code so here you can see we got the email id here so this is how you can make api request using this request module you just have to type the uh, <coughs> url from where you want to from where you want to make this request and if you get the message or the code here the response code you get 200 that means you have made your request successfully and once you have made your request successfully you can save all that data in a json format in a new variable and once you have this data in a json format you can fetch any information you want for example here we have seen how we can get the first name or the email id or anything you want you just have to uh, retrieve from the data and it is very easy i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching